Sensation. I'm your host, Dan, and in this episode, I am going to be looking at Cosmic Sorcery. Um, this is uh, the only issue of this I know of. This cover is by Rich, Rich Buckler. This is from, uh, he signed it in 1977. If you had asked me, by this point, I'm pretty sure he was, you know, th this looks earlier than that. Um, so maybe this is an earlier piece that he just gave them to work with. Um, by this point, he was doing more polished work for the major comics. A lot of this stuff looks like, there's a lot of people in here that, whose names you'll recognize, but the art is pretty crude. I'm wondering if some of this stuff was printed originally in fanzines, and, um, you know, one of the editors of a fanzine kind of collected some of it together. I, I don't know, but it doesn't look like the... But we'll, you'll see as we go through it. I mainly bought it for the lo longer sword and sorcery story that was in here. Somebody posted pictures from it. Um, it's kind of a mixed bag. Let's go through here and see. Like, here's the, the list of art credits. Uh, Neil Adams, Rich Buckler, Howard Chaikin, uh, Ron Cochran, Cochran um, Jay Garrison, James Glenn, somebody just named... Uh, Hunter, Jeff Jones, Gil Kane, I mean, uh, you know, Ken, La Ken Landgraf, uh, j just George Perez, Dave Sims, Von Krupp is the main artist. And Von Krupp was an inker, I know that, I know that I've seen stuff by, inked by him for like Marvel, um, I, I don't know that I've seen any, um, any other artwork by him, but I, I could be wrong. It really kind of looks like, um, you know, it's really heavily Wally Wood influenced. Um, but uh, this is the main reason I got the, the book. And uh, this is The Tattooed Sorceress. R.J. Williams is the writer. Um, I don't know that... Uh, Somebody would have needed a writing credit for this. Uh, it's pretty thin. <laughs> and you can see uh, a lot of uh, a lot of nudity on the parts of the ladies. Um, the other beating her bare bottom because so there's lashes on them. <laughs> It's a bathtub scene. This was this was done in '77, so you know you. It's a little early to, uh, but it certainly seems like a, a Roger Corman, one of his uh, sword and sorcery knockoffs, <laughs> with the amount of nudity and stuff in him. Um, like I said, it's uh, it's kind of. Um, Kind of very Wally Woodish to me. It's nothing but uh, basically a long, a long series of action scenes. Then we have a page here that explains this character. This is like, what's the point? <laughs> it gives back to more, more action. Um, it's not bad. I mean, I, I, you know, you know me. I, if the art's fun, I'm very forgiving. But this is this is a a little bit. Um, this is <laughs> I do like this. <laughs> the the monster comes and pops that guy's head off, and it actually has a pop sound. Um. So uh, yeah, that's the. That's the whole story there. Um, the big, uh, the big reveal, the big surprise at the end is, oh shit! And uh, here's the evil king. And he's got two what look like space aliens on either side of him. <laughs> and here's a Dave Sims thing. It looks like uh, Mick Jagger as a superhero or something. I don't know. Uh, and there's Vaughn Krupp doing a Howard the Duck. And, um, 
uh, just, you know, kind of interesting art. Not really my style, but okay. I mean, it's this, this by Howard Jakin. I mean, by this point, uh, I don't know why he would be, you know, why these guys, some of these guys would be involved in this, but, uh, I don't know if it, I don't know if this is some of this is older fan art, like I said that they've got hold of and are doing. Um, this is Jones, obviously, but uh, there's Perez, Kelly. This a, um, then there's one last uh, story here at the end. I'm not crazy about this art at all. Sorry to say. But, um, yeah, so, like I said, I picked this up because someone had posted some pictures from the first story, uh, the, the, you know, this, um, sword and sorcery story here, uh, the tattooed sorceress, there's the tattoo, you never see it again in the course of the story, um, I thought it might be fun, um, I'm glad I saw it, it satisfied my curiosity, but uh, <laughs> anyway, if anybody has any info or has anything to comment, please comment down below. I'd love to hear what you have to say. And if there's any um, thing you could recommend, please do. And in the meantime, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, and I'm, I'm told that I should say uh, hit the notification button too. Anyway, that's all for now. Thanks for watching.